हेलो एवरीवन आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल अगला सेम स्कूल्स टुडे इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी कवरिंग चैप्टर 11 ऑफ क्लास 5 ऑफ एनवायरमेंटल स्टडीज दैट इज सुनीता इन स्पेस सो लेट्स डिस्कस क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर्स फर्स्ट थिंक क्वेश्चन नंबर 1 सेज डू यू थिंक द मून इज फ्लैट लाइक द कॉइन और राउंड लाइक अ बॉल आंसर इज I think the moon is round like a ball. Further, look at the moon tonight and draw what it looks like. Look and draw again after one week and then after 15 days. So guys, you can do it yourself. Further, turn to page number 107. Find out. Question number 1 says, When is the next full moon? At what time will the moon rise on this day? What does the moon look like on this day and draw it. So the answer is the next full moon is on the 24th of this month. It will rise just after the sunset. The full moon looks like a complete circle. For the second question says what are the festivals related to the moon? Answer is many festivals are related to the moon like Holi, Eid, Karva Choth etc. For the third question says at night Look at the sky carefully for 5 minutes. Part 1 says, What could you see? Answer is, I could see the moon and the stars. Second, Did you see anything moving in the sky? What do you think it would be? A star or a shooting star or a satellite? Find out more about this. So the answer is, Yes, I saw something moving in the sky. The thing which appears to cross the sky quickly is a shooting star. The satellite looks like a moving tiny dot which appears to move very slowly. Further, turn to page number 107. Look at the table and tell. Question number 1 says, Given below are the time at which the moon rises and sets in Delhi. First, on 28th October, the moon comes out at dash minute past dash clock. Answer is 16 minute past 7 o'clock. Second, on 29th October, Moon comes out at dash minute past dash clock. Answer is 17 minute past 8 o'clock. Third, on 29th October, there was a difference of hours dash and dash minutes in the time of the moon rise. Answer is hour 1 and minute 1. Second question says, if you saw the moon rising at 7 pm today, would you see it at the same time tomorrow? Answer is no, I would not see the moon at the same time tomorrow. Further question number 3 says, On 31 October, the time of setting of the moon is given as 12 o'clock and 3 minutes. Have you ever seen the moon at 12 in the afternoon? Why don't we easily see the moon or stars during the day? Answer is, No, I have never seen the moon at 12 in the afternoon. During the day, the sunlight is too much and hence we are unable to see the moon or star. Now, an interesting photograph. Part 1 says, see how the earth is looking. Can you see the surface of the moon? Do you have some questions after looking at this picture? Write down those questions and discuss them in the class. So guys, you can see the picture in your book. So the answer is, I can see the surface of the moon. And the questions are, first, who took this picture and from where did he take it? Second, how does the surface of the moon look in real life? Third, is there water or air on the moon? Now, turn to page number 109. What we have learnt? First question says, Why do children always slide down the slide and not slide up? If this slide were there in Sunita's spacecraft, would children slide like this and why? Answer is, Children always slide down the slide and not slide up because of the gravitational force of the earth. If this slide were in Sunita's spacecraft, then children would not be able to enjoy the slide because of zero gravity of the spacecraft. Further, second question says, Why do we see stars mostly in night? Answer is, There is no sunlight during the night. As a result, the light from stars is not hidden by the sun's glare and we are able to see them at night. Further, question number three says, Looking at the earth from space, Sunita said, different countries cannot be seen as separate from here. These lines are on paper. They are made by us. What do you understand by this? 
So the answer is boundaries between nations are created by humans. Nature has made a single earth where there is no boundary. All of us are the same, the inhabitants of the earth. So guys, I have covered all the questions of this chapter in this video. I hope you like this video. And if you have any query or any doubt related to any of the questions discussed, please put your query in the comment section below. For more such NCRT solutions, keep watching and do not forget to subscribe our channel Agla Same Schools. And do not forget to wear a mask and take good care of your health. Uh -huh.